what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. You're with your man Swandesi and today we are doing a scooter check guys. It has been so long since I've done my last scooter check. I was looking back on it and it's been like over a year now so it's definitely well overdue. So I just gripped up and threw on a new deck and I thought I have to take this opportunity to do a scooter check for you guys before I take it to the skate park and scratch it up. So that's exactly what we're doing today. All I have to do now is find a nice spot to do the scooter check at so I'll see you guys once we found one. I just scoped out the most perfect spot for a scooter check. We're going to start off the traditional weight and go from the top to the bottom. So starting at the top guys, we've got some black drone acolyte grips and these are absolutely beautiful. Now that I've rode these grips for a little bit, it's safe to say that they are my favourite. Fresh out of the box, they're so comfy. You don't even really need to wear them in, that's the beautiful part. They also have bar ends that come with the grips, which is a standard. And so far, these grips don't even show any wear and tear. So you already know I'm definitely keen to keep riding these grips. You already know what comes after grips guys, I don't even got to say it. So right here I'm riding the Drone Relic 3 T-bars in black. I can't even tell you what size I cut these two guys, I get asked that on my Instagram all the time, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know what I cut my bars to. I just replicate the previous pair of bars that I've owned and cut them to that. Maybe trim off a little bit or add on a little bit, depending on how I feel at the time. But other than that, guys, I couldn't even tell you. Now, they've got a little cutout on the bars and they also got a bit of graphics on there, but they've kept it really simplistic, which is what I really like. But yeah, they're all around just good T-bar and I haven't had any problems with them. All right, so now for the clamp. The clamp I'm rocking is a Drone Contrast 3 clamp in black. These are honestly super beautiful. It's such a sleek, simplistic design, but still very original as an SES, which is what I like. It definitely doesn't come loose it clamps down on the fork and bars really well. It's oversized, so it also comes with a shim, so you can decide if you want to ride oversized or standard bars. I'm currently running standard, so I've got the shim in there. But yeah, this clamp performs well, and I've got no complaints at all, guys. All right, so now that we're done with the clamp, you already know what's below that, and that is the headset. So for the headset, I'm running the Drone Synergy 2 headset in black. It's super buttery. It comes lubed out of the box, which is funny to say, but you already know you want to hear that when we're talking about headsets, guys. This thing spins like a dream out of the box. All right, so now I'm going to take you to the fork. The fork I'm currently riding is the Drone Majesty 4 fork in black. This is absolutely beautiful. This is the fork that fits all wheel sizes. They have two types of fork. They have one that's a bit of a slim version. It's a little lighter. That's the one I'm not currently riding. And that one fits 24 mil wide wheels. But this fork right here, the Majesty 4 fork, this is the second fork that fits any wheel size on the market. I can't even notice the weight difference, guys. They've absolutely killed it. I'm only riding 24 mil wide wheels, but I just wanted to try out another version of their forks. And this one is performing absolutely amazingly. All right, so from the forks, I'm gonna take you to the wheels. The wheels that I'm currently riding are the Drone Lux 3 wheels in black on black. They've been designed with the dual core technology, which is really sick and original. I really haven't seen these on any other wheels because after many many sessions of putting these wheels through abuse they're still riding smooth and that's honestly all you could ask for uh, i know you guys want me to show you the deck but the next thing i'm going to show you is this fender right here so the fender i'm riding is actually the trinity x midnight fender now this fender is pretty cool i haven't really seen many people ride this it does feel like kind of a relic because i don't really think they're sold anymore but it is sick the designs on the side are really really cool and i'm honestly stoked to be rocking it it does mean a little bit to me because i traded the man connor something for it in new york so i do hold it close to me guys not gonna lie all right now i'm gonna take you through the grip tape and this is the one thing that I'm putting my two feet on every single time I go for a ride. And the grip tape I'm rocking with is the Saundesi Pyramid Grip Tape. Go support your boy. Link is in the description if you want to cop this grip tape. I've got many other designs on the website. This grip tape honestly performs super well and I barely need to change this stuff out. This is definitely top quality grip tape and I definitely suggest all of you to try a sheet if you have not yet, guys. Come on, run it up. Link in the description. All right, enough of the grip tape. Now for the deck, guys. That's what we've all been waiting for. The deck I'm currently riding is the Drone Nexus 1 deck in black. And this is honestly a top tier street deck. I've been riding this for a little bit now, guys, and I have no complaints. It holds up to everything that I put it through as a professional rider. And honestly, more guys. I've learned so many new tricks while riding this scooter. The width is honestly crazy. The length is beautiful. And the foot space feels so nice, guys. I definitely suggest all of you to try this deck out for yourself because they are now available, guys. I'm currently running the 6.5 by 22. That is the size I do know, guys. I may not know my bar size, but I know my deck size. That is for sure. The crook roof is beautiful. The head tube angle is absolutely nice. And I love the design that Drone have done on this deck. It's super simplistic and clean, but it's very original at the same time. So yeah, that's my scooter, guys. We're going to give it a little dial test of course. Oh, oh, that's a basketball. Call me Kobe because I'll be dunking. All right, so that's gonna have to conclude the scooter check, guys, and that is the scooter that I'm currently riding. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I hope it wasn't insightful. But yeah, I definitely would suggest all of you guys to try out some of these new drone products. They're super nice parts. I have no complaints, and they're now available, so go try some of them for yourself, guys. Link is in the description. Uh, we just finished up with the scooter check. I hope you all enjoyed me taking you through what parts I'm currently riding, but I just realized I haven't even showed you any B-roll shots of the scooter yet, so we're gonna get into that. Oh, that is a 10 out of 10 scooter, guys. I'm super hyped on my current setup, and I'm interested to see what all of you guys think of it. So leave a rating of my setup in the comments, guys. I'm going to be reading through. I'm curious to see what all of you guys out there think. Now i got to pick a skate park to ride, and I have no clue what skate park to choose. So I'll see you guys wherever I see you next.
We just rocked up to the skate park that I've decided to ride, and that is Paddington Skate Park. This is such a cool park. Since I've already set up a fresh scooter, the clips are calling. I'm gonna strap up straight to the GoPro, and we're gonna get straight into it, guys. So I'll see you once we're on the GoPro. We just switched up to the GoPro, and I wanna get the session started by hitting four tricks on this flat bar right here, just to get the blood flowing. Yo, we busted those out, guys. Now I'm going to keep cruising the park because the blood is flowing. Oh, let's see if we can hit this weird little obstacle. Oh, that's sick. All right, let's see if we can go back as well. Oh, and back. We got this like volcano obstacle here. I want to see if I can do something on it. Oh. Oh. To be completely honest with you, I never ride this obstacle, guys, but I actually rate it. All right, so there's a sick gap at Pado. It's from the quarter to the floor. We got to hit something down this. All right, I'm going to go for the three bar re. Wow. All right, we had to hit it for the one time, guys. Even though it's a small gap, you still feel the impact, but I'm hyped on that. All right, you already know before we end the session, we have to hit another four tricks on this flat bar. So let's get it. Hope you enjoyed what we just stacked on this flat bar and the rest of the park, guys. I'm gonna end the clips there and I'll see you back on the cam. We just got done with the GoPro clips and I hope you enjoyed what we just stacked at Paddington Skate Park. I honestly enjoy riding the skate park so much, guys. So now that we've finished up with the session, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here and I'll see you once we're back at the crib. We just wrapped up the session at the skate park and we are now back at the crib. I hope you have all enjoyed what we have captured in today's video. I honestly really enjoyed going out and filming a scooter check for you guys. So if you guys want to try these parts for yourself, link is in the description, guys. Now, with all that being said, I'm probably going to end off the video here. So make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Turn post notifications button on to get notified whenever I come out with a new video. And of course, guys, take it easy and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.